Hello everybody and welcome back to Monday Movie Hunting, the best way a week. I'm not going to go on too long right now because obviously I'm in the car and it's dark and the light's just gone out. There we go. Um, but we're at Sainsbury's, I'm going to be picking up, uh, I've got a funny story, I'll tell you guys after. Let's go into Sainsbury's and I'll be back home, we'll have some light, we'll be able to see what we're talking about and it'll be fun Monday Movie Hunting. I'm really excited because I feel like I haven't been Monday Movie Hunting in a while because last Monday obviously... I did something different because nothing came out and I cannot wait now for January to fully start for 2017 Monday Movie Hunting to really kick in. Um, but yeah, so let's head into Sainsbury's and see what they've got. Okay everybody, so we are in Sainsbury's and this is in the TV section. The Witness of for the Prosecution? I've missed the title now. Yes, uh, it's Agatha Christie adaptation so please let me know if you've seen this, I'd love to know your thoughts. Ethel and Ernest. Uh, I talk about this a little bit more at the end, but this looks really cute. I'd love to know if you've seen that as well. Hello High Water, one of the big releases for this week. Uh, it was £13 on Blu-ray. And then there was a Nicolas Cage release too. USS Indianapolis. I'm really, I didn't really quick, kick it off. <laughs> what am I saying? This is the Blu-ray section. Here's The Purge. I talk about it at the end because I kind of didn't talk about it the other week. And there's Morgan, which I couldn't actually see in the chart, but it was on the picture. So I don't know what that's about. Um, and there's Morgan on DVD. That was £8 on DVD. And then here we have the back of Morgan. I'll just show you guys the special features and some little things like that. And then here's Julietta. I'd love to know if you've seen this one as well. Okay, guys, so I'm back from Sainsbury's. Now, it was really busy in Sainsbury's and there seemed to be so many people in there. Um, but I hopefully managed to film everything I wanted to. So, there was a few things that came out today. And um, I knew pretty much everything that was coming out, there was no surprises. Um, but there was a film that I was picking up that I was pretty excited about. And I knew that was what I was picking up, but obviously last week I said one guess, let me know in the comments below. And then there's another film that came out today. People had kind of started guessing it a lot and saying quite a few things about it. And I'd seen the poster for it and I kind of thought, eh, I'd kind of heard the premise. Um, and I was put off from the premise from some other films I'd seen that were similar. But then, I noticed that the director of the film was Luke Scott, who is obviously Ridley Scott's son. And then I kind of became very interested. And I watched a snippet of the trailer, honestly a snippet, because I don't really like to watch trailers too much, because uh, I don't like to give too much away. So, I actually picked up two films, so anybody who guessed either film will get a point this week. Um, because everybody guessing the other film encouraged me to pick it up. So firstly, the film that I was picking up anyway um, is Hell or High Water. I'm quite looking forward to this. Jeff Bridges, Chris Pine, Ben Foster. Um, it looks a good kind of... Is it like a crime rest western? I don't know. But I'm going to watch it and I'm going to see how it is. The first kind of movie of the year. Now I am hoping to do hopefully a full review on this film because I'm going to try and do things a little bit different in 2017 with my Monday movie hunts. I do want to start doing more kind of in-depth reviews. You'll see um, when I film it. Kind of, we'll try. We'll see how it goes for the first week and then you guys let me know whether you prefer that or not. Uh, but yeah, Hello High Water. Quite a few of you guessed that and then quite a few of you guessed Morgan. Now when I first got there I was a little bit disappointed because I didn't have the Blu-ray. And I did show the sign that showed that it had the Blu-ray and I was like, hmm, can't see it, can't find it, so, but they didn't have it. Um, but the Blu-ray just come with a digital copy, but I decided to let it go and I picked up the DVD. Um, and it does have all the special features as well and it had a slip cover, so I was like, yeah, okay, whatever, I'll, I'll get the DVD, it's fine. Um, again, I'll be hopefully doing a review for this as well, so if you see Morgan, let me know in the comments below. Now, I've seen this poster um, and I kind of wasn't really interested um, and I'd watched... You know, things like Splice and things years ago uh, that kind of centre around a similar concept and I didn't really enjoy them so I'm interested to see how this goes but mostly I'm quite interested to see how um, you know Luke Scott will direct the film. Um, yeah so I did pick up two and pretty much everybody got it right because obviously I picked up everybody's guess. So let's head on to the spreadsheet and see who guessed correctly. Okay, here are the people who guessed correctly. Movies and Games, 007 UK, David, Brian, oh Brian's on three, Brian's kind of in the front I think, CH Ultras, Tracy Explains It All, Robert, 
Blu-ray Madness, Colin Henschel, Disney Bab J. These three are all new guesses. So well done if you guessed correctly. Let's head back to the other. Okay, so well done if you guessed correctly. I know this week was a bit of a cheat because I kind of picked up all the movies everybody was guessing, even though, you know, but I just after people kept guessing it and some people said some different things and somebody else on my favourites video commented they really liked Morgan and I've heard mixed, I've looked up a couple of reviews, I've seen mixed things about it uh, but overall I'm just intrigued, once I heard about the director I was like okay I'm not going to, I don't, didn't want to pick up Hello High Water and then just pick up Morgan a few days later and people who guess that kind of feel like oh um, so yeah I want to give everybody a good point um, now also this week I had a look at Ethel and Ernest which came out actually last week, it was kind of the only thing that did um, and it was from the, it's a book by Raymond Briggs, is that his name? And he did The Snowman, but he also did, oh my god, what's it called? When, there's a film that we went and watched for Tuesday Night Movie Night. And I've never forgotten the film, it was such a weird, interesting, kind of deep film. And I can't remember what it's called, something about where, I can't remember it, I'll I have to put a picture of it here. Um, but yeah, he, he made that film as well. So it's quite interesting and I might pick up Ethel and Ernest at some point but I actually think we recorded it when it was on over Christmas uh, but if you've seen it let me know in the comments below. I also took a close look at The Purge 3 today because not last week but the week before when somebody said uh, The Purge 3 came out and someone said you know you didn't mention The Purge 3 and I just kind of completely forgot. I have not seen any Purge movie yet. I own the first one on DVD. Josh owns the second one on Blu-ray pretty sure and I haven't seen either of them and then obviously the third one's come out. So if you enjoy the Purge movies and think I should watch them let me know in the comments below and I will hopefully get to those soon. I always mean to watch the Purge, I'm actually quite interested in it uh, and then I just never ever fully get around to it so I don't know why. Um, but yeah if you've seen the Purge films let me know in the comments below. I'm trying to think if anything else came out today. I don't think it did. Did it? There really didn't seem too much new on the shelves. Um, so yeah I mean uh, January actually is a pretty busy, busy month. Um, for each week now in January I have some exciting things coming up. Now my excitometer, I really want to make an excitometer but I don't know if I find it. So if I have an excitometer it'll be here. If not ne by next week I'll be prepared. I'll have an excitometer. My excitement medium. Uh, hello how water, medium excitement. To be honest it was the reviews that swayed me to pick that one up. I mean it's had great reviews. A lot of people have been loving it so I'm intrigued. Uh, I like to pick up movies that I don't know too much about that maybe not ones that I pick up because last year ones that I didn't think I would like as much obviously I don't pick up movies that I think I'll hate but movies that I was thinking yeah okay I'll, I might give that a try I really enjoyed so I like to be surprised and give things a go but yeah so medium excitement this week whereas next week excitement's high excitement's like up here on the excitometer that we don't have the imaginary excitometer okay so talking about next week Next week there'll be two guesses, so two guesses, let me know down in the comments below what you think we're picking up next week. However, there was originally three and then on one website, um, well on two websites it says that a, a film is coming out next week and then on two other websites, one of which is Amazon, so I feel like I should go with Amazon, it says it's coming out the week after. So if it comes out next week, I'll obviously be picking it up next week, but I'm pretty sure it comes out the week after. However, if anybody guesses it, I feel like I should give you the point because I also am confused about when it's coming out. So it's a tricky one. So two guesses, hopefully. And then that other film, said film, should come out the week after and then hopefully, you know, if it comes out next week, I'll say, oh, this was the film that I was on about. I didn't even know when it came out and it's come out and here it is um you know and then you guys will know what I mean but if not I'm pretty sure it'll come out the week after and we'll just you know head on as normal I'm trying to be more prepared this year rather than oh this came out I didn't even know I'm gonna pick it up you know kind of thing so yeah two films next week one I feel like you will all guess it's a very exciting level and the second one maybe is a bit more obscure there might be some interesting guesses next week uh, well, this week. Now, it's some interesting guesses for next week's films because there's quite a few things coming out actually, so I have quite a lot to talk about. 
Uh, whereas obviously this week not too much came out, so I don't have too much to talk about. But yeah, quite a few things come out next week, so two picks. Let me know what you think they are in the comments below. I hope you guys have had a great start to 2017. Let me know if you've seen either Hell or High Water or Morgan, and let me know if you're looking forward to some more in-depth reviews, which I'm hoping to kind of really get together at the weekend. No, not get together at the weekend, but get get together pause at the weekend the weekend just gone i didn't upload any videos because i was really trying to focus on planning some videos out so i'm sorry there wasn't any um videos at the weekend but i was trying to kind of just organize some things and s set things up for some videos that are coming up in the future so hopefully that'll all come to plan so that's pretty much it for this monday movie hunt thumbs up if you enjoy monday movie hunting i'll see you guys next week let me know what you think i'll be picking up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already or if you are a newbie and i will see you guys next time thank you for watching Goodbye!